saying he's really odd as a comedian. And um, you guys were part of this conversation. That's I see. Like I said, I like to be a conversational. Welcome, welcome to inside the inside the farm. hair farm. Hair farm. Inside the hair farm. Ew. What are we drinking today? The guy you brought this. The hairs on my Can I back. This it? is our first gluten free beer. This is our first for uh, for our podcast here. Uh, it's called Tweez and Ale. It's by Dogfish uh, Dogfish Head Brewery. I should get some. We have a guy working this. This is uh, celiac. Uh, sorghum based ale brewed with strawberries and buckwheat honey. So, hey man, put up. Close. Hmm, it's weird. I like it. It tastes kind of like a uh, shandy almost. Yeah, like a shandy. It's like a shandy. Very good. That was good. Look at this guy with his beer knowledge. You can taste no yeah. wheat in it, but it, yeah. obviously there's no wheat. But well, yeah, it just tastes like it has like none of the wheat flavor that you get from a lot of beers. So the craft brews. It almost feels like like a like one of Jamie's not as um. Not a sweet meads. Yeah. So it has like a kind of texture to it. Very good though. So how are you doing, big guy? How's your week going? Uh pretty good. Uh, actually, I actually had the last couple days off I'm gonna have last stretch of days I'm gonna have all the days off in a while, so I uh, got a couple Lucky overnights you. coming up. <laughs> well, you know, we have uh, we're still technically four people short and then another person uh, is out on disability, so we're five people short. Uh, luckily in the beginning of December two people will be done training and so we'll have a little bit of help. Hopefully that third person on disability will be back by then, so we'll be in a pretty decent spot. But until then, we're working a lot of overnights, get, losing a lot of sleep. But, you know, can't complain. It's worth it, though, right? It's worth it. Um, this guy loves his job. What about you? How are you doing? How's your job going? I worked 68 hours this week. That's a lot for me. That's twice as much as you usually work. I haven't I haven't worked 68 hours since I worked at Syracuse Stage, but I'm actually getting paid for all 68 of these hours. I was going to say, is you're going to pay Spoiler a lot of money alert. for that, right? Spoiler alert. Yeah. Do you get dome overtime pay? Because dome overtime pay is sweet for us. If we work dome overtime, it's forty dollars an hour. It's pretty awesome. Oh, uh, we we just get time and a half. So, like when they hire us to work, they hire us for thirty nine dollars and forty cents an hour. I know, man, because I watched one of your officers watching TV and probably getting paid overtime. He was getting paid that much. I can guarantee. To watch TV. Hey, just think though, soon he'll be getting paid a lot more than that. So if that makes you feel. We like won't that. mention his name though. We love you. We actually do love you. Sometimes. <laughs> um. But uh, I have a I have a couple little uh, little things. We have no practice the next couple couple weeks. I think it might even be three. It kind of sucks. I'm not a big fan. Yeah, of that. I'm. Uh, maybe, but I understand why. Maybe that is next happening. week. Maybe next week we'll do a music podcast. Oh, wait, wait, we can, I, just, can I hold to it right now? Why don't we just jam? We can just fuck f and jams. Uh, okay, swear. F and swears. D. Explicit F-N-D podcast. F and D. Explicit. <laughs> We haven't cussed yet, have we, in this podcast? Let's just jam. Fuck it. Okay, there you go. We're we're gonna, we're, if Jimmy can't show up, we're going to jam. Okay. We'll it's jam. fine. We'll jam Marino. We'll just play, uh, this is like folk songs or something. Leave me on some machine. Oh, I'll play that. We're going to this podcast. I'll play that. You land, brother. I love that folk song. Uh, you just said to but you. speaking of music, Macklemore. Let's we see Macklemore and. He did uh, a lot of kicks. Big anyways. surprise. Kicks. Big surprise. Uh, big Crit opened for him. I oh, don't know. Uh, big Crit actually, I, I like Big Crit. Just did not. Still have no clue who he is. Uh, he's some rapper from Mississippi. I've heard of him like vaguely before. Like Th- this is what I can tell you about Big Crit. <laughs> Doesn't sound like in the box office. Uh, he just did something about <laughs> wheels going on the bu- round and round or something. I, don't I just know. this is all weird. <laughs> uh, but Tally Quali opened for him, and Tally Quali was fucking amazing. He did an Eleanor Rigby cover, which a lot of people didn't like. I Who thought it was doesn't awesome. do an Eleanor Rigby cover? Anymore. I was like, I was like, when we first started, we're like, what is he doing? And it was Eleanor Rigby, and they rapped over like, like okay. the rice. But he's got such a sick, sick uh, flow that it, it fit perfectly. And he's I been like, he's been around forever. He's been around since like the nineties. What, what supergroup was he in, Mike? He was in uh, the Most Dap, Talib Kweli, Black Star, dude, Black Star, Black Star. That's right, Black Star and CB to the K. You knew it. I just, you know, it's a, you got a lot on your mind. I understand. Uh, but I thought that I really enjoyed the concert. Everybody's like, oh, Macklemore talk too much. I like the stories. I thought he's a pathological liar. But, every, uh, <laughs> every musician does that during their during. The I show. thought it was great. He was just pandering. It was really, yeah. it was funny pandering, though. And really the good. craziest place I've been is Syracuse. No, it's not. No, it's not. Just don't we lie. didn't even fill, like, half the place. I mean, <laughs> well, I get, no, you know what's weird, too, is that uh, they sold almost the entire thing. Just 2,000 people didn't show up for some reason. Maybe it's too cold. They're like, oh, where? Well, I think because a lot everybody of them, like flooded towards the middle when they found out there was not like when the concert started and nobody was there. Everybody like poured towards the middle. I think what happened too is that um, the the preset was so early for that it was in June, and so I think some people 
who just stood out of either got or something or, or got kicked out of school, possibly too. Two thousand people, dude. What the hell? Well, that's that's it's part of it. See, part of it is a small part getting kicked out of school, forgetting maybe another part, being way too stoned. Are you saying Macklemore's fans are degenerates and derelicts? Is that no, I'm just saying that some of the people that go to SU are probably degenerates and derelicts. We haven't. There has been that many people kicked out of school. I can tell you that. There's been a couple people suspended and a couple people kicked out, but not too many. Um, but we have a lot of people going part time because they keep calling in and be like, "Am I going to lose my season tickets?" I'm like, "Yes, no, no, you won't." Yes, you are. Well, the best part is that the admissions is telling them that they're going to lose their season tickets. That's awesome. And so, so they have to call. I don't want to lose them, man. I just don't want to. I'm like, it's okay. You've got your season tickets. We don't care. So what did you think of the Macklemore concert? How was it for you? I enjoyed it. I, I, I like I said, I, I told you right when it ended. He, the, be, before the encore, he ended with my favorite song of his, which is called Wings. Uh, if you want to look it up, it was good. Maybe was I'll, maybe I'll link it right here. On it was face. It was good to end with too because he did all his obviously all the ones that people know. Same love, uh, thrift shop. He did a really funny story like in the thrift shop. The, I like how he brought the cadre of people that do those songs as well. Was Wands, a- dude. Wands was there for yeah. his for thrift shop. Get probably got paid like five hundred dollars and he gets to hang out Macklemore and be get his toes licked by chicks. Just I'm gonna pop some tags. Yeah, suck on my yeah. So uh, did, and did you notice at the end they didn't? Uh, you know, like he thanked a bunch of people. He didn't like thank the he didn't thank the you know the people. He didn't thank Wands because Wands kind of like I think was already gone. He's like he goes the trailer. He goes yeah. to bed earlier. So I'm saying yeah. like yeah, he was in the trailer. Yeah, he's like I'm gonna go to bed. Sleeping <laughs> on the tour buses. What a learn. No, he probably got a nice ass hotel room because they probably like you got your hotel room for five hundred dollars. Yeah, so, the yeah. Well, that's funny. He's like there. He was on. There's like, there. He knew a lot about. Like he like researched at least. Well, I, I was and, and that's what cool I, I like. That. That's what I like. This banner is he. He did. You can tell he didn't do a lot of research. But he did some. Research. He did enough. Where it was in, it's entertaining and the story. And supposedly told, he's he visited Insomnia Cookies as well. Well, at the end he was talking about like when he's talking about the people that were in the. He's talking about the trombone players. Like you might not know his face, but you know his voice. You ever yeah. know Sebastian from Little Mermaid? He was Sebastian. He made a he's bunch like, of stuff. Beauty and the people. Beast. He was the Beast. I was like <laughs> believing it for a second. I was yeah. like, no, Michael Dorn was the Beast. Yeah, anyway, Michael Dorn. I'm like, yeah, you're right. What? The, oh, you, you got, got me. You son of a bitch. Why you? <laughs> But like when he's telling the, like the Lake on a Dog story, I was really like believe it until he's talking about the old lady giving a piggyback ride. I was like, uh, I wasn't uh, at all. I was like, I was, I was like, you know, nobody like, jumps into Lake on a Dog naked. No one's that. It's like, no fuck one's that, that lake. Yeah. <laughs> It was pretty. It was, it was fun entertaining. Though. It was, it was fun. Entertain- that's what I said. He was. A, he's an entertainer, but he's also a good performer. They shot streamer like uh, confetti in the yeah. crowd a bunch of times. Basically, they streamers. used every pyrotechnic thing you really could besides fire. They had they smoke well, fly out of the stage. He had to. He had to one up Telly Pauly's awesome set. Like Telly Pauly wrapped the shit out of some shit. Oh, uh, Matt Moore do doesn't quite Matt rap Moore? quite as good, but his showmanship is off that. the off the chain. Like it's yeah. a. It's a Nine hundred and sixty-three on a scale of one to ten. That's right, guys. So. We're gonna put that in the drink game. If Matt's is off the chain, it's off the good. chain. It was, it was like, it was great. Like, I guess Jess is a brother who's a DJ, and he's kind of a rap connoisseur. Jimmy, hi, Jimmy. He is might Jimmy be there. He might be a friend of the podcast. He wasn't, and he was kind of jealous, I think, because he's like, he's very white. Oh, I can't like, imagine. Yeah, it's, it's just, like I said, Shandy. Um, but uh, uh, he was kind of like. Oh, I can't imagine you at a rap concert. And we were up in like the city sitting area, <laughs> like that, like in the yeah. smoking weed down in the. I had a, I did have a ticket to go down there for a yeah. while. Well, you could have given us one. So I was like, first of all, Jess isn't great at just like standing up that long. I've seen her stand up at a concert and also faint at a concert. Yeah, and she almost fainted the pen time because yes. her legs just got her legs just got too tired. Her, they were too tired from standing up, you know. So. <laughs> That's, that's we, were really close. we were really close to the pentatonics. We were like right, right up front. And so luckily she had something to lean on and we were alright, but she was getting really tired and we had to like head out. So it was good to have seats. Uh, and, and, and we got the domes. They had a couple dome stadium you know, cushion chairs, so we stole those. So, I stole so, the one from your seat, so, actually. So the, the performance you didn't get to see was, um, f- first, because I, I talk about our band at work, I, I, you know, so I was talking about it and someone just brought up that, uh, like, oh, you said you did Macklemore. And I was like, Yes, and so my the the assistant director of the office goes onto YouTube and finds the uh, karaoke version. The karaoke version starts playing. He's like, "Can you do it?" I was like, "Okay," and so I did the I did the first verse of the rap uh, for all my my coworkers, and they went, "Yay, you're in!" Yeah, it was fun though. 
It was, it was a good time. Well, we were singing in the crowd. We were going pretty nuts. They were really but, nuts. Both times we were sitting down, we were right when the can holes came yeah. out. We're like, I felt bad because there's all these little tiny kids in the back of us. I'm like, yeah, lunch boxes, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we might as well be Abraham Lincoln with a stove <laughs> pipe hat, bitch. <laughs> like, like a giant fat <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, yes. <laughs> like linebackers. In the, um, we're, we're the front line of the uh, Detroit Lions. The best part was just looking bare, so I wanted to dance more. I was like, yeah, get this. Get that's all that's this. actually why I was doing it, too, actually. Oddly enough. We love you, Jess. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. Come on, on. rap concert. Uh, but okay, let's let's keep moving because Macklemore is great. Though. I have yeah, a lot they, of fun. I, I, they, they want to hear about us. You know, something. Well, well I I want to talk to you about the new brewery that's coming to James Street. I'm glad you talked about that because I saw you I saw you link it today, and it's one of the only things I saw works at. Like on my break, I'm like click, and then I'm like oh, I got it. And you went yes. Um, I think the more breweries in Syracuse the better. If we were, be, it is like, right down the like, literally brewery town. I'm amazed. About it's it. like five it's blocks from my house. Not even. It's like almost like Middle Ages was to your house. You know, it's like right in walking distance. Those two blocks. And it's pretty awesome. It's a little farther, but I gotta go. This place go is, a, is a, I think it's like a. What are you doing Sunday? Two to five barrel place, um, and it's it's gonna have growlers. It's a growler filled tasting room type place. Wait, he's only he's only got one barrel, so you're gonna have to get there like early. And well, all. he's poured a bunch of stuff. I guess like he does. Every morning he'll do he does like a bunch of stuff. So he's already got like six or seven different varieties ready for this is, Saturday. This is like a fast brew or something. Like how does I don't know. I don't know. He, mm-hmm. One of his machines makes triple the amount or something. I heard. Like he has like a three. He has like a well, three he has, a, he has a three barrel fermenter. Yeah. Yeah, but so but he makes like triple I the read amount. The article. And he's ready to go. I love my beer. He's ready to go with his beer. So I'm, there's like a strong ale, a blonde, a, an IPA, a he porter. He said he was open seven days a week too, didn't uh, he? Supposedly seven days a week after 4 p.m. the tasting room is open. So, so, the, so the 20, birthday. So the 23rd birthday. I'm working. The 24th I think I'm off though. I'm working till 6. So we may be able to go afterwards. It's after we'll 4. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about we'll it. We'll see. We'll, we'll work it out. I, w- I wouldn't mind going. I'm excited though. Yeah, I'm, I am too. Uh, I think it's cool. I, the more craft breweries, the better. And one right down I the street, love, they can fill my growler. I would at. love yes. Syracuse to become like craft town, like craft yeah. beer town. Well, they're, they've already been talking about one in uh, uh, the city of Onondaga, the town of Onondaga that's right next door to us. Um, so we'll absorb them and they'll be Syracuse. Right? Well, you know, it'd be nice to go visit there. I the more craft breweries we get to go to, the better. I always yes. think it's fun. I, 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 I love, I love these, Middle I even love the, Empire, you know. Well, I even love the little stores that have the, like, uh, yeah, like Bro Brex and, and Bro Brex, yeah. yeah. Exactly. They it's have a growler fill. Where we have most of our beers, but us, this is from Wegmans, right? This is, this is from this Wegmans. This is from Wegmans, the yeah. Pick 6. Yeah, the, pick the good six old one. Pick 6. That, that's, that's good in a pinch. Like, if you want to get like, three good beers for the, for three weeks in a row, you, you go to the Wegmans. Well, the one beer. Pick 6 I had the one week was, it was four beers for $10, and then it was in the Pick 6 for six beers for $10. So I'm like, bad play on your part. It's like, I got you, Wegmans. I beat you on this one. Uh, beat the system. <laughs> yeah. Like, I will take two beers for free. Uh, <laughs> like, can I just drink this right here? Because honestly, I feel like I'm stealing from you anyway. Uh, well, let's get into some entertainment news. So you let's got, do you it. Got, what do you got written on there? For, for once, it's not all video I have, games. I have TV before video games. And, and let, let's, do, let's do all the video games last. Because we always do the video games. We do the video games like eight weeks in a row. Actually, you know what? Playing so many I, don't, video games. I don't have a single video game. I only have something about the PlayStation. I have one, and I'm going to say it. I'm going to okay. say it for you because I know you, uh, you might get a nerd boner, and it'll, okay. hit, it'll knock the. The okay. camera for him because you were trying. Have you so watched Walking Dead yet, by the way? Uh, this week's no, I'm at time, oh, dude. Dude, I I've worked 68 hours this okay, week. Okay, <laughs> listen to me. This is probably the best one in the last at least season, two seasons. Uh, it's a it focuses on Herschel and it is fantastic. Oh, well, I know that. So that don't give so me get more down more. and watch that because I really want to talk about this and now I can't talk. It's about me, Herschel. Sure. I'm talking about you. I'm really like, I got a cool beard. Look how he's got a beard. Now she, I died. I'm a fucking badass. They actually left me in like the second book in the comics, but I'm still here because <laughs> he's entertaining. It's like Daryl. You can't. Daryl will never get killed. If Daryl gets killed, people will stop watching the show. I would. I, I, I might stop watching because because honestly, he's not. He's not. But it, it, for those who have not read the comic, Daryl's not in the comic. At he's all. not at all. Meryl and Daryl both are. Yeah, and, and they're just great characters that yeah. Robert uh, that, uh, that that Kirkman added to the um, to, to the show. Yeah, and Daryl is he's worth it. He's a very yeah, like he's got Lord a lot of readers, man. Re- com- re- complex. Complex. A renaissance for that guy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He w- I just watched a Conan episode where they're like. It was like the test reel where he's learning how to fire a crossbow. It was hilarious. Because our readers, like, that, he loves yeah. to make fun of himself. So he, he's like, okay, so you hold it like this. And he's holding it like all weird. And he's like, okay, now just shoot it. And he goes, Wah! and he throws the whole crossbow. <laughs> and he's like, crossbow. <laughs> and I went, yay, no readers, yay. I'm cool, I'm cool with that. He's just it. so good at making fun of himself. Um, well, okay, we can't talk about it. So what do you got? Oh, show me, show us that, please. So, so 
Um, I'm reading this right after you're done with it. I'm a big fan of J.J. Abrams. So uh, we all are. Come on, yeah. J.J. Abrams. We're Mark. Lost. He's gonna We're be Marks. doing. Yeah, we are. He's gonna be doing Star Wars soon. He did. He did one really good Star Trek and one sort of. Good I still Star like Trek. the second Star Trek. Even I like for it. it's worth. I like it for what it's exactly yeah, for, for what it's worth. worth. Liked it. But he also he just uh, collaborated with a, a uh, author named Doug Dorst to write a book called S. So the book came and I was like, oh, this is cool. You know, it's it's cool outside. This is like the outside cover that I'm showing you right now. And you know, here's, here's the back of it. It came it came sealed actually with a little seal that That's is kind of cool. Broken. Yeah. The the book itself is freaking amazing. Like the production oh, value yeah. for this book, it must have cost like fifty dollars to make this book. Ship of Theseus. Because it's, yeah, it's called the Ship of Theseus. It's basically basically the story of, of, of S. And there's more than that. I'll show you. Say it's awesome. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you on the second. It's like a pop up book. <laughs> it's it's, <laughs> it's awesome. Freaking amazing. Like like inside the book, basically the story of the book is the book itself, but these two different people reading the book. And pass it, and like basically, they'll, they'll take the, the book, write a note in it, and pass it back to the other person who also writes a note in it. So there's two different sets of handwriting in it. But also, they leave each other little notes inside the book. So you'll be reading the book, and it's like, I left you, I left you a piece of paper to read. Like, like I, so I like pull that shit out and read yeah, it. Yeah, so I, like, you'll, you'll see things so like this. So basically, you have to keep the, that in the right place. Yeah, where you're yeah. To screw exactly. <laughs> so, I, like, this in paperback would not work, which is why this book is so weird and oh, amazing. Yeah, that's really cool. That's they, awesome. they, there's things inside, and the, everything comes out, and, like, see, this is in it's German. It's like lost the book. It's this like, thing is in German. So you have to, like, translate or something. No, 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 they're actually, oh, they, okay. have, they have, like, I was gonna say, behind it. I'll say, I will translate the book. Well, no, at first, I was like, I will go to Google and translate this right now. Yeah, Babblefish. But then I saw me, and I'm like, oh, this thing is written. Okay. But, but, like, see, like, in the margins, they have, like, the writings of these two people. So the story isn't just the book itself. That's really cool. It's also the writings of the people talking to each other. So they're, like, making, like, this banter between each other. Like, yeah. like, like at one point, the, the girl's like, I'm going to quit if you're going to be a jerk about it. Like, because he, he's basically, like, insulting her. Like, oh, you're, I, you're not going to help you with oh, this. Good. Decipher this book. And she's like, no, I'm going to help you decipher it. And, and he's like, whatever. And she's like, okay, I won't help you. He's like, I need the help. Please help me. You know, so it's like, it's kind of funny. It's, like, it's like that very J.J. Abrams style. It's almost thing. like, it's like, it's like lost the book. But then, then see, there are things like, like, these postcards just jammed in here with, with writing on the back and the front. Like, this is, it's like, it's like lost the book. The production value is insane yeah, for this so book. And, and, and even down to the fact that, like, it says the, the first page, book for loan. In the back of the book, they have, uh, they have, um, I, I don't even know what that is. Like I, I've never seen that before. <laughs> There's so many, <laughs> like like uh, it's like a freaking library uh, book checked out stuff in the back of the book. Oh, dude, this is like some kind of uh, Codex or something. Yeah, it's freaking amazing. That's crazy. This is so cool. Dude, it's like a it's like a cipher for like after you finish the book, you got a cipher. Like, and you're, like, like gonna message when you need tonight, I'm gonna start reading this Holy book. Shit, you better finish. I read the first couple books. That. I read the first couple pages, and it's and, and it was so much fun. The only thing that's kind of hard about it is that it uh, it is a book, and then people writing in the margins of the book. So you're like, you trying don't know to, which part to read yes. first. Yeah. So you don't know which part to read, and then then the like oh, but then I put in this piece of paper, and you start reading that, and you're like, "Where was I in the book?" Shit, like, I'm confused as shit. Like, now. it's a book you have to read like several just like times watching just to Lost. get. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's like J.J. James is a sick, it's a sick mofo. Because I mean, look at the, like, it even looks like they even the do decimal book. stuff. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. crazy. Yeah, so that's what I wanted. To, I wanted to cool. show this, and here's the here's the front cover. If I didn't get to show that. The ship of Thessies, and, and it's it's by you know. The, it was just called S when it came out. Like that's all well, like, they knew. No, it's it, called yeah, S. exactly. That was, and, but and it's like it's by J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorse. But then the this other book that is, which is probably VM by Doug Dorse. Straka. Yeah, V.M. Straka, and he's like, well, that's something that J.J. Abrams would do. Like I'm lost. He'd make he'd make these exactly, and, and it's like a secret code. Well, and, the, and, and the thing is, is that these two people are trying to decipher not only V.M. Straka's writing because then they make up like all this yeah. this stuff. Like he met Hemingway and like he. That's what that codex anyway. is for, dude. I'm telling you in the back. Uh, but but they also uh, uh, there's a um, this there's probably a forward, means so too. There's a forward and afterward by this other mysterious guy, and the and that's awesome. And some people think he's crazy, but they're like, no, we think that the the the, 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 the initial premise of the book is like, no, we think this guy wrote something. There's even like a skull yes, on the back for no that, reason. This is not. This came with the book. Like <laughs> this was that's awesome. I have no clue what uh, like the production. There's like a little smudge right insane. there. What is that? It's insane. That's I, crazy. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's it's it's. It's great, and that's why I had to show it, because it's... I, I, I might have a more of a nerd boner about that than about I, whatever I, paid the, I, I only paid like awesome. 20 bucks for that, too. Like, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's crazy. That that book has got to be 50 bucks just to make it. And, and like, even, I don't think that, but it's probably... Like, it's no, probably like, didn't, they look, even the inside of the it. book, like they, they weathered the pages. This is like pre-weathered. You know, like oh, this... It's like made to look like yeah. weathered. But but yeah, that's what I'm saying. That costs money, you know? I like it. 
So awesome, yeah. So, so yeah, I recommend it. It's called S. Period. Uh, just check J.J. Abrams in the book section of Amazon. You'll find it. Because it's the only book he's written, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, and uh, uh, also Doug Dorst, D-O-R-S-T, uh, is, is he the author of that, the co-author. He's, he's actually the writer. J.J. Abrams like, came up with the idea for it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Almost Human starts Sunday, by the way. I am so excited for that. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. And I have it off, but I am, I, you know, I'm not going to be able to see it, but I'll be able to see it probably Monday or Tuesday, hopefully. Oh, hopefully Cheers. quicker, sooner than later, yeah. Pro probably we'll Monday. Uh, no, actually, no, Monday after I'm working late, but Tuesday we will see it. Well, you know, if you want to come over, just let us know. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll watch it live and direct from Philly Town. I, mean, I might just want to hang out with my wife for a while since I haven't really seen her for a week. <laughs> hey, that's your new job, Mike. Hey, it's, it's put, making some money, though. I put Netflix nuts. instead of Netflix. It's awesome. Uh, Netflix. Netflix. Oh, Nerf Nerf Nerflix. Um, gross. Uh, but, okay, I don't know if you heard about this. I was on IGN, but I'd heard something about this before. What? Uh, Netflix will be producing four superhero miniseries that will be culminate into a super team show. Did you hear about this? I did. Okay, so Jesse Daredevil. Jones, baby. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Daredevil at one point, and, the, and Daredevil, Luke Cage. the fucking Iron Fist. That's right. Yeah, for Heroes for Hire, dude. So I was it's like, called Heroes for Hire, man. Yeah, it's Heroes for Hire. That's what it is. Exactly. Um, this guy knows. I don't know. Nerdy. I don't know anything about Jessica Jones. Can you tell me? Jessica Jones is a what shield. She she's a shield agent. She married Luke Cage at one point. I think she's dated Daredevil. She did a lot of. Lot so of she's got. She got all all bonds as Heroes for Hire team. Yeah. She probably like. She gave, the, gave the Iron Fist some hand jibbers. She didn't give him an Iron Fist or anything like that. <laughs> but it's like not too hard. No, because he's like all zen and stuff. Like he's he's had girlfriends. He's like, I do this myself. Just like yeah, oh. he, just, he just like he just goes tantric like Sting, like, Sting, and he goes. He is maybe he could be played by. Sting. But Jessica Jones is cool because she's like a really good detective, but she has no superpower. She's very she's just basically an agent of Shield. She's also dated um I think I believe she's dated um Captain America before too, at one point. Why not? Because Captain yeah, America's a dude. You know. Uh, but so there's there's like throwing like all who they should be around. Uh, Luke Cage, one of the, the the notable people that I saw for him was uh, The Rock. Of, you know, like oh, why don't we have The Rock plan? There's a lot, little light skin. Yeah, for there's that, there's a lot of the darker people they had, but The Rock. But he's had the like, musculature. He's had the musculature yeah. for it. Uh, you know who I thought in, he might be a little too old, but uh, Terry Crews. Terry Crews, I think, would yeah. be like especially like in the '90s would have been uh, amazing. Yeah. Luke Cage yeah. in like a Heroes for Hire movie because he's got because because Luke Cage the good thing about Luke Cage especially in Heroes for Hire he's really good comedic time it's like it's it, it, it's yeah, a very comic Cruz comedic book and yeah and and, and uh, Terry Crews especially on Brooklyn Nine Nine if you're not watching that please do it's great it, it just gets better ever by the way I just I, I little, tiny segue but then we'll come back I I bought it with people at work today because we I brought up the blacklist it's a great Everyone show loves the blacklist it's it great is a great show. show watch it okay so back to back to that great part. show um uh, I heard for. Uh, I'm Another trying to think what I heard for Daredevil. I cannot remember. It's Ben Affleck. Uh, <laughs> no, Ben Affleck. He's got Batman. He's got better, better, bigger, better. They, they just did Daredevil. And how did this get made? They did the Daredevil. Movie. Well, I, 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 I did. I listened to that actually. Ed Brubaker. Um, it's really funny actually. Yeah. Um. Uh. But I guess some caveat about uh, Ben Affleck. Kevin Smith said he saw that um, he did a panel yes, for. Yeah. Uh, Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder brought him back and let him see the bat suit and a picture did. of Ben Affleck. And he's like, let him, he's let like, him. Yeah, he's okay. like, I gave him a hug afterwards because <laughs> it was so awesome. I was like, this is something you haven't seen before. There's no bat nipples. And I was like, okay, you know, yeah, I trust but, Kevin Smith. But, but it's like Zack Snyder let him. Yeah, okay. Kevin Smith's probably like, yeah, we're gonna go see it. But I trust <laughs> Kevin Smith on his yeah. opinion of this. I, I really, I'm, I'm pretty. He's, excited he's about got that. nerd cred. The guy's got nerd cred. I mean, he might, he might be. He dresses in the same shirt every freaking day. He's got, he's a definitely a nerd. <laughs> he might be a Ben Affleck. I'm not gonna watch. I'm just gonna keep wearing this jersey. Yeah. He might be a mark for Ben Affleck, but he is like a, a yeah. fan of comics. I could see him. Thrilling. I could definitely see him filleting Ben Affleck at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so Daredevil. Oh, I'm trying to think. The dude, Shane West. That's who it is. Shane West from a La Femme Nikita. Yes. That, so that was one of the people that they mentioned for Daredevil. I was like, oh, you know, I could definitely see him doing Daredevil. There was somebody else I'm trying to think that was really like, I was like, that's a great idea. Matt Damon? No, not Matt Damon. Stop it. <laughs> Matt Damon. Stop that. No, no, no. <laughs> By the way, Aiden did that to me. He went, no, 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 not in my house. And I was like, the hell? Like, that's something I you should have learned son. from me. I love you. Something um, you should learn from me. And then uh, the Iron Fist, uh, Ryan Quantin from... Uh, uh, this is these are all rumors. This doesn't actually happen. Ryan yeah. Quantin is plays is on uh, Sucky's brother on um, on True Blood. He was a dude from uh, the Venom short film. 
Did you, did you not watch that short film? I did, actually. Yeah, he was that dude, Brian okay. Quantum. That makes sense. He was pretty good in that I think he'd be great as I for By the way, good, good, we're going to link that short. right here. No, hopefully it won't. That's a great, that's a great short. 24 minutes in. I guess <laughs> we're long in the... <laughs> that's not too bad. No, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm doing that for the link. Okay, for, that's yeah, all I got. I'm going to try and remember the link. I should probably write it down. So you're out of stuff already, and we're 24 minutes no, in? I, all I have is one one more little thing. With so that. I'm going to mention, yeah. I'm going to say something before, because I don't think you've heard of this yet. They're making a new... Middle Earth game, Matt. Ah, I did hear. I just saw the little thing for this. Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor. Uh, Italian the Ranger. It happens between the Hobbit. And it, it's a it's a video game that's going to come out for PC and supposedly all the the next gen consoles, next -gen consoles. and the current gen consoles. Next gen consoles and yeah. the current gen consoles. It says supposedly it's made for the next. It's like the first. They they're building it as the first Lord of the Rings game for. I'll get it on PC. What? Um, this is but did you hear this? What the story is? Yes, I'm trying to. I'm a trying to get the Ranger into it. Talion, uh, He's basically going into Mordor, like like kind of like a like a little Ranger ninja, dumb. And he's trying to find bad him. idea, buddy. Yeah, no, but this is before it's like too too messed up. It's still Mordor, bad fucking yeah. idea. But that's why he has to go. He has to go in because he's finding the Nine Rings of Power. Because he thinks, hey, this is gonna be a good idea. Wait, they're on dead guy's fingers, motherfucker. You don't want to do that. Well, he's probably gonna have to fight him too, like fight the nasty. Well, ones. supposedly he gets killed. And he comes back as a wraith. So he has wraith powers, but for some reason, somehow he is good. That's why I'm confused. I gotta hear more of the story. I just read it and I'm like, uh... I, th I found it really interesting and I was like... I don't know if that fits with canon, but we'll see. And we'll see I, I'm one of the only people that... Probably one of the only people in the world that liked that last uh, not canon, canonical game... Uh, what was it? I can't remember. Uh, War of the North? War of the North. I love that game. I like that. It was I enjoyable. like the crap I out of that, that game. Good. I thought it was a great story, right. a great original story. It wasn't the best game of all time, but I liked it a lot. No, it was, it was a good. great original story, yeah. and it was fun to play. And you paid like ten dollars for it, right? Or and I paid ten dollars. Yeah, so ten dollar game is a good ten dollar game. Um, but uh, no, I saw it, and I'm optimistic. I want to see more. I would have paid twenty dollars for that game. <laughs> I would have paid twenty. Well, I, I paid thirty for Saints Row Four. I know. I still know. I, I I have to. I told you if you want, when just, it comes just, like 15, let, me, let, just me let me know and, and I'll let you log. I'll buy in. like a fifteen or something. Well, just let me know. I'll let you log into my my Steam account. Don't do this, but it's illegal. Don't don't do. Theoretically, this. I could let you do this, and then you it's just a play warning it right, right here. He'll put on there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, okay, I understand. I, I might try it. But I'm days. excited for that. That sounds no. like a, it sounds like it could be fun. I. I'm ready. A badass I'm, ranger. I'm ready to see it. I'm. Uh, I'm going to be optimistic. So about well, it, even the thing is, I, I know you're like a lore so purist, which is why I wanted to bring this up. I know the story is weird to me because he becomes a wraith, but he's good. See, but, I didn't even hear that much about uh, yeah, it. Like, I read. I read that. I read it today, actually. So uh, it's, I just looked at it and I was like, hmm. Hmm. I, I will be optimistic about it. But I want to see it because on the cover of Game Informer too, which uh, I, I get the issues of digitally. Because <laughs> I, I was just reading a lot about EverQuest Next today, actually. Because they have a hundred dollar, you know, founders oh, yeah, pack yeah, type yeah. thing. I know what that is. I was I was thinking about maybe like at least getting the sixty dollar founders pack just to because it's free to play, and you know it gives you a lot of cool stuff with the with the founders pack. It looks interesting. Like alpha access. At least stuff. the stuff they were saying originally. I haven't seen anything lately, but like they were talking about like how you can change the landscape. Well, if you get the highest thing, you can actually you start forty hours for everyone else in beta, and you get to keep yeah, your beta character and like it. Everyone else will get theirs wiped. You have the forty-eight hours before, so you'll have like a level. If theoretically you have like a level ten. Yeah, or see, if that, if that game started. came out in June, I would be all over that. But I, I'm not gonna, with my February's job tough. until like after February's tough. until after yeah. May. I'm not gonna have any time to play. You're gonna anything. have February madness going on before March madness. That's, that's why I'm only like I'm only like three hours into uh, Assassin's Creed right now. Assassin's yeah, Creed Four. I'm a little disappointed, but I, I'm not mad at you. I'm disappointed. Hey, come on! I got to the ship at least. I got to the ship. Dude, that ship is so much fun. When you get in there. The ship is fun. Okay, we're, we're gonna mention this real quick because we talked about it earlier. We talked about it like eight times. Yeah, it was eight podcasts. But, but finally, I'm playing it. And I'm I, and I was not enjoying it at first because I don't like Assassin's Creed mechanics. I don't like the fact yeah. that you have to fight oh, everyone and you can't run away from them. And really. There's a lot of climbing, like this running away from them. And yeah, and you're like, I want to try, and I'm going to run away from this guy by climbing up these boxes. And you're like, two boxes, and then I jump off the side. Like, no, what? Why did I just do that? I was boo boo, and you're like, oh, desynchronizing. Oh. You got the guys walking around there. Yeah, and then, and then you have to watch them slaughter you because yeah. you can't do anything for like for like for like at least ten seconds. It's the longest desynchronizing. It's like thing shaming ever. you. It's like yeah, shaming. yeah, and that literally no, you that is seriously what you just like, you literally you just hit stop my heart with that. Me. I was like, I, I just let me restart <laughs> the game. Like I'm tired of this crap. Are you gonna walk around for like another fifteen seconds? It's funny because like the best. I don't know why I'm, I'm like I'm not trying to be contrarian, people. I know that like like GTA Five. I should love it. I should. 
But I just I can't get into it. I enjoy it. And same I enjoy Assassin's the, Creed. I'm starting into it. It's weird. I I'm think changing you're, my you're view. You diverged somewhere in games. I don't know. I don't know what happened. You made like some kind of right turn. I made a left turn. Well, it's funny because I used anymore. to be so mainstream, and you were just mad. You, know? you used to only play Madden. Really? I used to only play Madden. Yeah. I don't. I haven't played a Madden. And I was game so mainstream. I was like, yeah, months. let's go Call of Duty or something cool like that. And now I'm just like, no, obscure Beyond Two Souls, Journey, Journey, Journey. Yeah, yeah. Journey. Game of the Year, Journey. <laughs> IGN voted that game of the year. Ah, uh, speaking of games. PS4 comes out on uh, Thursday. Tomorrow. Who's got it? Not me. Technically tomorrow. You don't. Well, whenever this, it could be today. When it's or yesterday when this gets posted. So I should. Uh, I, you know, what I should do. I should like just rush them all on Friday and see if I can get one. It's only four. It's four hundred dollars. I got it. I I, I, have, I, got I, it. I actually do have. I don't have it. I have it right now. Well, can you get me one for my birthday? No. Birthday. No. Our birthday's coming up next week. No. No, you should get me one. If you get me one, I get you one. <laughs> then, see, that, what I'm saying is, I got your present. Then it'll be okay. Look, if you get me one, I get you one. No one get mad at me. I have your other present, so I don't have your other present next time. That's time to get it. It's not a four hundred dollar present though. <laughs> exactly. So why would I get you a PlayStation Four? I got you some dice. Okay. I your PlayStation. I you got you your first D twenty. You your first D twenty in years. Okay. I should beat him. I should beat him. <laughs> well, I got your PlayStation Go. I, I wouldn't do that. That's weird. I got your first D twenty in years, Mike. You got a D twenty now. Okay. I used to have a D twenty, so. That's why I said in years. That's why I said in years. I actually have an app on my phone for that. I do too, actually. So, so what, are, what are we playing? What are we going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons? With, uh, uh, I was your father-in-law. Is, is uh, the, my father-in-law said that he would play Dungeons and Dragons with, but only if he was a, if he was a dungeon master. See, we need some checks though. Cause he can't play without checks. And, and Jamie's not going to play. Well, Jess is going. Jamie Jess, actually just might play if her dad is. Jamie is but allergic. She like she's allergic to role playing. Like she doesn't. Like, it's funny too because we, we were in bed. We were playing. We were playing this game. We're not in bed though. You totally ignored that. Pyroflux. Yeah, can, uh, does she have to R or something? Wait, wait, Boston, this in bed. Uh, but um, Pyroflux. R. Yeah, the one of the rules is is you you get you, do it? you can draw an extra card if you are if you like. I do that card. every time. That's yeah. easy. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If you keep talk, if you stay in role play between turns, I would you get do to it. Draw two cards. I would do it. And this, but Jane was too. It was amazing. Also, accepted. our friend Stasia was, and she her accent was changing between like Yakov Smirnoff and. A uh, Scottish right. guy. Yeah, yeah, it was it's the best thing in the world. It was like, please keep talking like this forever. So no weird. one get rid of this rule ever. I be pirate. I'm like, you sound like Borat right now. <laughs> what the hell just happened? It was great. It was, it was, it made the game a lot of fun. By the way, if you haven't played any of the Flux games, play them. They are amazing. We 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 played Zombie Flux. Uh, Pirate Flux is a lot like Space Flux uh, in that there's interrupts and stuff, but there's a lot more. The, there's a lot more of the fun rules. So well, Mike, fun next week rules. you'll have a new game. Like what? Because Aiden told you. Well, mm -hmm. jerk. <laughs> hey, Uncle Mike, he's got your game up there. Like, you little. It was adorable. We, I so me so me and my nephew had a dance party. Uh, you, you, you were kind of sitting there. You guys you guys didn't really join it, but we. we I was doing, like, I think I was doing yeah. arm yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah. I was doing That's arm what dance. I was doing. I was kneeling because he's he's low. I don't want to. Stand I do. I, I dance with him all the time, dude. Whatever. You had one dance party with him. Hey, we came over specifically for the dance party, okay? Well, he loves dancing, so... And, and for your tickets for Macmore, but... Um, yeah, we love dancing. Yeah, we were having some fun dancing, and, and, and Matt's like, I got you the present, and Aiden just immediately goes, It's over there! It's a game! And I'm like... Okay. Thanks. No surprise. And I'm like, he takes after his father. This guy. Well, see, I'm, I, have a, I have a wife at home that will not let me surprise anyone, so... She if I if I she knows I got her present she needs to know what it is like right. Oh away. no, Jamie's the same way. Yeah, Jamie's yeah. the exact same way. Don't tell her I said that. If she watches this, what she, she knows she I'm is. Jamie. I'm she's not gonna watch. Okay. I'm sad you're not here for the. Our wives don't watch. It's okay. She's no. Jamie does watch. You should have like had some kind of soundboard where we could have made people drink. You know, like. Hey, it's me, Jamie. Miguel. Oh, oh, no, that's that's not like Sue. That was not. She was calling Miguel actually. Actually, it's weird when she does. She's really sexy face. Yeah, like sexy pants or like. Yeah, big uh, friendly stuff, like, guy. Yeah, big friendly guy. I don't know who watches. Come on, man. don't fucking throw me on the bus like this. <laughs> hey, the wedding is gonna be here in, in December, by the way. Are uh, they? Jamie's family. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna have like couches. We're gonna have them upstairs in the in the yeah, guest room. Futon uh, bunk bed. They're gonna no, have the bunk futon beds? is not gonna be used. That is, there's too much cat pee on that for anyone to use. Although D J uh, Sue did mention like, oh, you can put someone on the futon. I'm like, no. Nah. Don't worry. No, about that. no, we won't do that. <laughs> nah. And and also, why do cats love to pee on futon? Our right? our great horny cat just peed it. Well, he's not finally not horny anymore. She's sleeping over there. Just uh, peed in my closet somewhere. 
And I found out when, because I put my head down on my pillow, and I thought she'd be on my pillow at first. I'm like, Dude, no, I got like, like, why did like cats rage. Hate you? I got a rage. I'm like, I will kill you. And then I was like, okay, it's not the pillow at least. And so I'm like sniffing around, like doing like, why do cats hate you? Why do they pee out and on I, your and I go And I go in the closet, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's in the closet, but at least it's not the bed. Cats pee on everything oh, he loves. Did, oh, didn't Bungie pee on your pillow and, and in your hood? My leather jacket. And your leather jacket and your hood. You put your hood up, yeah. and it was in your. That's when that's when Bungie got that's when Bungie left. That's when Bungie left. I, didn't you punt him? I think you punted him. <laughs> Not confirmed. <laughs> hey, no animal cruelty on this podcast. <laughs> I blink a couple times. Oh, but I didn't mention this. But uh, before we go, I, we're going to go It's okay. That's fine. I got rid of the see. Good thing I got rid of those, or we'd good be thing over. You did you jerk? Uh, actually, no. We'd be about three hundred uh, megabytes left. Um, but but still. I uh, I ran the veteran the veteran run uh, the warrior run it's called it's it's it's, it's easier called the veteran it's it's the the quad or something? yeah yeah it was, it was around the it's quad was Mount Olympus it was oh, on Mount okay. Olympus but but we ran with the ROTC and, and some veterans and they did cadences while we ran and you're gonna be by a guy with one leg and well we, it, we just ran in formation so it wasn't oh, okay. like a race or anything like I don't know but I'm yeah. been told yeah, it was a lot of fun actually they, right. they did a lot like a lot more crude than that though but but it was fun. It was a good Your time. Your mom's dick is very old. Hey! And I, yeah, and actually, hey! ran, I ran with uh, my my boss, the boss of our office. Oh, there you go, Drake. Yay! Yay! They get to drink, everyone! That's my baby. I love her. Can you say but, some stuff before we go? Because we're, we're almost done here. Okay. She's you, I hope you heard that. You know what? I think it's time for us to go, then. It's good enough. But, well, so, okay, so warrior, but first, Warrior Run. Yes. You didn't finish it. Ran, ran with my, yeah, I know. Ran with my boss. Ran with another co-worker. We had well, a lot of fun. It was like six in the morning, though. We still that. Six in the morning. Come on. I was at work. Come on, Warriors. Sheesh. Oh, actually, it was when I worked in the day. Never mind. I could have ran with you. I was at work after that. And I was a little bit ripe. I'm but sure. I made it. Myth of the day. You smell like man and bra. Well, it's like I, I the, well, I went to the gym too, and I, I went to the gym too, and I had the chance to shower, but then it was literally I, I'm like I'm gonna find the one with the least old dudes with their balls hanging out yeah, at the gym. Dudes. No, literally, I went in there. I'm like, it, there's no one here. Nice. Then like they all just crowded around me, like balls, yeah. Yeah, balls like, here, six, six balls, old dudes, balls, 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 like, balls, balls. Look at here. Look at over here. Got balls hanging out. Damn it. Damn it. You got ball rotisserie in my face. Got fucking white hair all over your body. Like a fucking polar bear. Like, and so, damn. so, so I was gonna get in the shower, but I, with that, I was just, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And I just broke out. And, and wow. So I got to work like an hour early. And, but there was, uh, um, the the girl that ran was also there. And so I'm like, uh, this is weird. And she's like, yeah, well, I, I just showered and then came here. And I was like, I didn't shower and then came here. <laughs> like me too. I showered with stinkier soap than with you old had. man balls running <laughs> on my face. <laughs> Uh, with giant balls just swinging around, blah, 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 blah. and that's that's where we're gonna end. That's where we're gonna end. Giant balls, pin back room people, stay classy. We love you. Good night, Big balls. <laughs>